bigger and busier here than when I last spoke to you. But quite a big crowd has grown outside the convention centre in Philadelphia, where that count is taking place at the moment for those all-important final ballot ballots that will make such a significant decision for this country. Now, this side of the street, outside the convention centre, are people who are here uh, protesting for every vote to be counted. They are democratic supporters on the whole, people here who feel that Donald Trump is trying to somehow thwart the election with his legal challenges to stop postal votes being counted. So there's that noise on one side, and then here, Donald Trump supporters have gathered on the other side, and there's a long line of police officers, which Guy might be able to show you with, with their bikes. They're separating the two. So there's a slight standoff between these two crowds of people, and the police here are here to separate them. There is a heavy police presence. Uh, and I've seen uh, members of the military outside the city hall here as well. Let me just introduce you to someone who might be able to give us an idea of how they're feeling today. This is Walt. Walt, hello. Thank you for speaking to us. Hi, Now, obviously, you're here as a Donald Trump supporter, I see. Absolutely. How are you feeling today? Well, I'm feeling really sad for our country because uh, this is not a fair election. Any... American, any person on the planet with a thinking brain understands what's happening right before our eyes. Before they stopped counting, Donald Trump was ahead in all these key states. All of a sudden, they decided to stop counting. Then when they knew how many ballots they needed to uh, over, uh, pass him, they came up with mysterious votes, 20, 30,000, 100 percent for Biden. America is a great country. Americans are only going to stand for this so much longer before something horrible happens. The Democratic Party is not the party of John F. Kennedy. They are socialists. They know they can't get power unless they cheat and steal. What's going on in this building behind us is raw corruption at its finest. Well, can, I just, can I just put it to you that when you, when you frame it like that, of course it sounds unfair, but the reality is that postal ballots, mail-in ballots, were counted afterwards and more Democrats vote by mail. So why is that unfair? Listen, if you don't think that mail-in ballots are ripe for corruption, they are not requiring people to have put their signature, they're not... Just if you look at the fact that right in this building, they're not allowing poll watchers. They're not allowing them. They're putting paper on the window. That says we are doing something wrong, and it's right on display. You don't have to be a genius to understand. If they let poll watchers in, it's a different story. Corruption is going on rampant in this country. Would it make you feel better if I said to you that I was there in Detroit and I met Republican poll watchers in the counting room? They were there. Would that make you feel better if you were reassured of the fact? I don't know that to be a fact just because you told me. If it was, if it was a fact, why won't they allow it in Philadelphia? There are also poll watchers here as well. They, they claim that the law says we allow observers. They think observers should be a hundred yards away so you can look in the building. You're not observing a, a, a political election if you're 15, 20 feet from what they're doing. They are hiding. When you hide something as a human being, that means you're doing something wrong. Okay, one last question. If you could be reassured of the fairness of this election and the, the courts were to reassure you that this has been a fair election, there hasn't been widespread fraud, can you find it in yourself to accept the results and move on? Absolutely. We, we live in a democracy. But the key fact is there is corruption going on here. There is. So if we were guaranteed it was fair... I don't know how you're going to do that with what's going on, because everything they're doing says we are hiding something, we're doing something wrong. I don't know how you tell Americans all of a sudden that what's going on behind closed doors is fair. OK, well, thanks for speaking to me. You. Um, you know, as you've heard there from Walt, there is immense passion on both sides here. It's hard to see how, after this election, that will change. Trump supporters believe every word he says. They adore him. And he is continuing to peddle this narrative that this election has been stolen from him. It has been 
cheated somehow. There's no evidence to support that, but it is really adding to the challenges here in this country with this democratic process that is still in action right now.